We're going to multiply a one-digit number by a four-digit number using the distributive property for multiplication. We're going to decompose that four-digit number based on place value. And then multiply it by the seven. So rewriting that equation. This extra step isn't always necessary, but it helps students clearly see what they're multiplying. And then we're going to distribute that seven with each value or each place in that four digit number. So I'm gonna start over here. Seven times 3,000 is what we're gonna work on first. We're gonna add it to the next expression. Seven times 900. 7 times 80, and 7 times 5. Oh, there we go. All right, we're going to write the values of each of the, the products for each expression below. 7 times 3 is 21. 1,000 times greater than that is 21,000. 7 times 9 is 63. 100 times greater than that is 6,300. 7 times 80 is, or 7 times 8 is 56. 7 times 8 is 56. 10 times greater than that is 560. 7 times 5 is 35. So we're adding all of those part products or partial products back together. And once it gets to all of these different products, I might have students line them up below so that they're adding correctly if at this point they can't do it mentally. So starting with the 21,000, then 6,300, 560, and 35. Adding those together, we have five ones, nine tens, eight hundreds, seven thousands, and two ten thousands. So the product is 27,895. I'm gonna write that up here. Now we're gonna look at what, how the problem will look if the factors were flipped or switched. So we are going to start with our four digit number first, 3,985, and multiply that by seven. Okay, so we're gonna decompose that into 3,000 plus 900 plus 80 plus five. And we're multiplying that number by seven. So we're distributing the seven with each digit. So 3,000 times seven. Actually, let me move this over. It's gonna be a longer, I'm gonna need longer space. So we're gonna start with 3,000 times seven plus 900 times seven plus 80 times seven plus five times seven. Now we're gonna find the product for each of those expressions. 3,000 times seven is 21,000. 900 times seven is 6,300. 80 times seven is 50, 560. Five times seven is 35. Then we're adding those together. If it's too much to add mentally, students can line their numbers up again vertically by place value and add that way. We have five ones, nine tens, eight hundreds, seven thousands and two ten thousands or twenty thousand. So our total product is twenty seven thousand eight hundred ninety five. So we're gonna write that up here. So 
So what we did is multiplied a four digit number and a one digit number together with both factors in both positions using the distributive property.